This cast off 762 aka the AK-47 is insane. Yo, what's up? It's elusive. If you guys are looking for a class setup like this, I'm gonna call it the advance. So I can just get another one. Thank you. Damn, that was a hell of a piece. The AK slap. What? Maybe I can do a little bit more tuning to make it faster. But as of right now, it has no recoil. Its damage range is insane and its accuracy is crazy. And that's kind of what I'm working with. Let's stick around and watch the full video. In this video, I dropped two MGBs using this crazy cast off 762 class setup. This thing is an absolute laser. Not only is it a laser, its damage range is outrageous. I'm talking two, three bullets, fights over. If you land a headshot, it's two bullets. If you don't, it's three, bro. It just, it slaps, bro. No cap. So if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Be here before a thousand. If you guys are interested in best class ups, tips and tricks, how to get better, best settings, nuclear gameplay, and the camo grind in Mono for two, then subscribe. It's free. But now that that's over, let's get into the MGB gameplays using the cast off 762. Alrighty guys, we're gonna be using the cast off 762, I believe that's what it's called. The AK. I haven't used the AK since I got it gold, honestly. I was trying to build this thing over and over and over again for it to be good, but it's like, no matter what I did to the weapon, it always hardly gained stats. Like, I didn't know what to do, bruh. I was either gonna have a weapon that had stats like it was when it originally started, and if that's the case, I might as well not even run any attachments. Or, I was gonna have to literally build it, and a couple stats are high, but the other ones are extremely low. So, it was difficult trying to build an AK. Even though the AK is still pretty fire. I wish I could have built it maybe a little bit towards more ADS. Come on, in. And I have a stupid flash grenade. I don't remember putting this on. Damn. This class up kind of hits hard. Or should I say the weapon? Damn. If I die, I'm going to pull back out my stem shot. I had a teammate in middle, so I'm quite confused on how he just wrapped around like that and no radar pings, no nothing. Oh my god. UAV is exiting that fast? Oh my god, bruh. I'm gonna call it the advance so I can just get another one. Thank you. Damn, that was a hell of a piece. The AK slap. Got another advance. I might be able to get a nuke if people don't start spamming tags. Ain't no way, boy. I'm actually quite angry now because because the stupid counter my harp my first one's being wasted right now, bruh And I'm wasting even more time hiding Well, at least I know I'm on a ruthless. Yeah, I wasted it or it was wasted I'm gonna just have to call it out now Because the longer I wait the less time I have Bruh
ฮะโอ้ก็ดิโอ้ my god! So we got shotgun users already, bro. Damn, he was fast. Oh, there was two of them. Hell nah. Well, I can jump on this trash can, cool. Damn! I killed him with one bullet. I saw his laser. This is why I started running, freaking back bomb squad again. I might fall back and throw an ammo pack instead. What the? I just got there, bro. Bruh. No, I have to pop it up after all that. I didn't want to, but I'm literally being flooded. I got straight up flooded. I'm tired of being lethal spammed. It's like they know everywhere I'm at, and that's where the grenade goes. This kid and his grenades, bro. I'm actually trapped, bro. What spawn is all worse? You're giving them both spawns and trap me in middle. I I can't even rotate. This kid has been chasing after me with that sniper, bro. I got the MGB. Let's go, bro. I got another one. Man, that was the most dangerous thing ever. Most, one of the most irritating ones. I got this kid chasing after me with a damn sniper. They spawned them on both sides, A, B, and C, while I was trapped in middle and kept making them flip every single time. So I didn't know what to do. So I'm hiding in middle and they keep coming back for me. It's like, bro. Here's the MGB get hit in the head. I didn't get to call it in last game, but I'll get to call it in this one. And I was like, where is it? Did, oh, it changes sides? 
Because last time I was that way, not that way. Does it rotate to north, east, south, and west? Because it didn't come in from that way last time. Plus, whatever, I dropped the MGB. Camping the whole game. Camping? I got surrounded. What? Camping? I was in middle. <laughs> what? I sat in the office the entire game. What is he talking about? Alrighty, brothers, what you guys all been waiting for? My cast off 762 class setup. This is what I was running on my cast off. For the first attachment, I was running the demo X2 grip. For the second attachment, I was running the Pro Light TL3 stock. For the third attachment, I was running the 40 round mag. For the fourth attachment, I was running the FTAC Ripper. And for the fifth and final attachment, I was running the Cast 10 584 barrel. This class up is fire. As you guys can see in the stats, the accuracy was boosted, the recoil control slightly boosted, the range was boosted, and the damage range was boosted. This is literally why it's able to just decimate people at all ranges and not be absolute dirt at range. And yes, the mobility and handling went down a little bit. I actually wanted to go towards more ADS, but it's like no matter what I did, it just was not helping, bruh. It's either something was completely decimated or it's as if the stats didn't move at all. Because I had a couple other attachments I kept testing and testing. And the stats literally either had sliver changes. I'm talking where you hardly see green and hardly see red. And that's five attachments. And I'm like, at this point, might as well run no attachments if that's the case. So I had to test and test and recalculate and I ran into this class setup. So yeah. So let's get into the tuning. This is what I was running on the barrel. I went towards ADS speed and recoil steadiness. ADS speed so I can aim down faster. Recoil steadiness so my gun doesn't have any kick while I'm shooting. For the under barrel, the FTAC Ripper, I went towards ADS and aiming idle stability. I went towards aiming idle stability so I can have less sway if I'm aiming in and not moving. And I went towards aim down sight speed to aim down faster so I can kill people close range. 40 round mag, you can't tune. For the grip, I went towards ADS and sprint to fire. Uh, you can go towards aiming idle stability if you guys feel like you have a lot of sway. But I felt like the gun, since I don't really stand still and shoot a majority of the time, I usually strafe. That aiming idle stability isn't my top priority. And I felt like since the gun was already slow and aiming down, as you guys saw, it was a little bit negative. I was like, why not go into aiming down faster? AKA sprint to fire and ADS speed. And for the fifth and final attachment, the pro light stock. I went towards ADS speed to aim in faster and I went towards aiming idle stability so my gun doesn't sway as much. You can go towards walking aiming speed, but I feel like you do want a little bit of aiming idle stability so your gun doesn't sway while shooting. So that's why I decided to go towards it a little bit more, but you can adjust this and tune it towards aim walking speed if you guys feel like the gun's a little bit slow or something. That's all up to you. But yeah, this is what I was running. This class up was fire. Let me know down in the comments how you guys did with it. And yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.